Who is Dr. Lam Akol Ajawin? Hello, welcome to the GTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Dr. Lam Akol Ajawin, current chairman of National Democratic Movement, NDM, was born on July 15, 1950, in Asidwoi, Afa Nile. He is a well-known South Sudanese politician of Chiluk descent. He holds a PhD in chemical engineering from Imperial College, London, University of London. He was one time a professor of engineering at the University of Khartoum. He became a clandestine member of SPLA in 1983 while in Khartoum. In 1986, he officially joined the SPLA and stayed until 1991 when he joined the SPLA Nasser faction of Dr. Yak Machar Tench, which rebelled against Dr. John Garang de Mabior. On 15th April 1993, after they were joined by William Nguyen Ban, and they joined forces with another faction under Carovino Kwanin Bol, the name of their faction was changed to SPLA United. On 4th February 1994, Dr. Yagmasha dismissed Dr. Lema Kol, who thereafter became chairman of one faction of SPLM SPLA United, following unity with senior SPLA commanders who were under detention by orders of Dr. John Garang. In 1997, he signed the Pashoda Fees Agreement with the Khartoum government then run by deposed Sudanese dictator Omar al-Bashir. Omar al-Bashir appointed him in March 1998 Sudan's Minister of Transportation, a post he held until 2002 when he resigned from the ruling National Congress NCP and became a senior member of the newly formed Opposition Justice Party. He was most of his forces rejoined the SPLA in October 2003. In 2005, when the SPLM joined the unity government with NCP, Dr. Lemakol was appointed Sudan's Minister of Foreign Affairs, a post he held until 2007 when the SPLM chairman, President Kir Reshapolem, to a less powerful cabinet affairs ministry. The Reshapolem was due to fears that Dr. Lemakol would be used by Omar Bashir's NCP to scuttle the slated South Sudan 2011 referendum. When Sudan's general elections took place in 2010, Dr. Lemakol ran as SPLM DC, SPLM Democratic Change, Party Plaque Bearer, but he lost to President Kiel. Dr. Lemakol changed the SPLM DC to NDM, and he still remains the party chairman. Dr. Lamakol is not serving in the revitalized government. However, major parties' leaders such as President Kiel of SPLM Mainstream, Dr. Yak Machar of SPLM IO, and some parties' leaders, e.g. Abdel Bagi Hussein, Joseph Bangase Bakosoro, ETC, in Sasoa, have been active politically. But Dr. Lamakol is not. In today's analysis, we have analyzed five indicators that reveal to us Dr. Lamakol's political career is in the intensive care unit, ICU. Here are they. Number one, no public or campaign rallies. Unlike President Kiel of SPLM Mainstream, Dr. Yak Machar of SPLM IO, and Hussein Abdel Bagi of Sasso, among others, who have been holding rallies, Dr. Lamakol has been as silent as a grape. The great citizens of South Sudan cannot recall the last time they attended the NDM's organized public or campaign rallies. As we gear up for the 2025 South Sudan general elections, we hope Dr. Lema Cole will wake up to the fact that gaining political recognition requires a lot of disability and hard work. Number two, unknown NDM senior leaders. Do a quick research on NDM senior leaders and you will only come up with Dr. Lema Kohl, the chairman, as the only NDM leader. Other senior leaders are not known 
by most South Sudanese. Dr. Lemakol should create a room for NDM senior leaders to shine. If these leaders are drawn from the nook and cranny of South Sudan, there is no reason why they shouldn't reach out to their respective constituents. Doing that will make the population understand the NDM's manifesto and policies. However, the prospect of such political current taking place is H on NDM senior leaders being known by the public. Number three, disengagement from media. The media is the gatekeeper to a political power. This is because the media assumes the role of being the custodian of truth that the public seeks. The media gives all the leaders a space to articulate their policies, dreams, and visions. Sadly, Dr. Lemar Cole has not engaged the media to articulate his policies he wants to do for South Sudanese in case he gets power, and this is limiting his chances of political survivability. Number four, no regional or county NDM offices. Even with the political dispensation that came with the revitalized government, the NDM has been so much beyond SPLM mainstream, SPLM IO, and so so among others, in setting up parties, offices in counties and regions. Assuming elections are to take place, where will the NDM campaigns be organized? Maybe on Mars or Jupiter. SPLM IO and the rest of the political parties have already geared up and set up their party secretariats in the localities in preparation for the much anticipated 2025 general elections. We hope Dr. Lemar Cole and his NDM will act quickly in setting up counties and regional offices. Number five, no NDM primaries or grassroots elections. Grassroots elections or primaries are the Jewish or political reinvention for political parties. This is because everything in politics is temporary. Everything in politics is about self-interest and allegiances change like a weather. What we mean here is that leaders in a political party or vehicle come and go physically or mentally. Moreover, new leaders come with new ideas. It is for this reason that we think the NDM of Dr. Lemar Cole is committing unforgivable political sin, and that is by not having grassroots elections or primaries. If Dr. Lemar Cole's NDM organizes grassroots elections or primaries, he's going to get leaders who can grow the party faster. The more the party grows, the more the chances of winning power. Will Dr. Lemar Cole listen and internalize this key message? What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the GTV South Sudan Global.